Did you know that the world's fastest supercomputer can process data nearly a million times faster than the human brain? Our minds, while extraordinary, are dwarfed by artificial intelligence and supercomputers in terms of speed. So it's clear that our brains have some catching up to do, isn't it? Enter Neuralink, a revolutionary brain-machine interface technology founded by visionary Elon Musk. This groundbreaking venture seeks to enhance human cognition, bridging the chasm between our brains and the ever-evolving world of artificial intelligence. Neuralink promises to transform the way we interact with technology. But why do we need to enhance our communication with machines in the first place, you may ask? Let's delve deeper into the intricacies of this idea. Our minds are naturally brilliant, but they are confined by the constraints of biology. We can only process a limited amount of information at a time. Our brain, though powerful, is not designed to keep up with the speed and complexity of today's technology. Think about it. How many times have you felt overwhelmed by the sheer volume of data you're expected to absorb and respond to every day? Or how many times have you wished you could download a new language or skill directly into your brain, just like in science fiction movies? These limitations of our cognitive abilities are where the need for enhanced communication with machines comes into play. As technology becomes increasingly complex, the traditional methods of interaction, typing, clicking, swiping, are becoming less efficient. We're moving towards a future where we'll be interacting with a multitude of smart devices, AI systems, and virtual realities. To navigate this future, we need a more direct and efficient way to communicate with technology. And that's where Neuralink steps in. Neuralink is not just about reading and interpreting brain signals. It's about creating a two-way communication street. Imagine being able to control your devices with your thoughts or having data from the internet streamed directly into your brain. It's about upgrading our brains to match the speed and efficiency of the machines we've created. But it's not just about efficiency, it's also about intimacy. As we grow more dependent on technology, it becomes an integral part of our lives. So shouldn't we aim for a more intimate relationship with it? Neuralink's vision is to make our interaction with technology feel natural and seamless, almost as if it's an extension of ourselves. In essence, Neuralink is all about making our relationship with technology more intimate and efficient. The need for enhanced communication with machines is not just a luxury, but a necessity for the future. It's about bridging the gap between our biological limitations and the boundless potentials of technology. It's about ensuring our relevance in the face of rapid technological evolution. And above all, it's about taking the next step in human evolution. So how does Neuralink plan to achieve this ambitious goal? Well, the answer is both fascinating and a bit sci-fi. Neuralink aims to create a high bandwidth interface between our brains and external devices. It's not about turning us into cyborgs, but about enhancing our capabilities and offering solutions to health issues that currently have no cure. At the heart of Neuralink's technology is a device called the Link. It's a tiny chip, about the size of a coin, which is surgically implanted into the brain. This link connects to thousands of ultra-thin threads, each thinner than a human hair, which are carefully inserted into areas of the brain responsible for specific functions. These threads are designed to pick up on the electrical signals that neurons, the cells in our brain, generate when they communicate with each other. By recording these signals, Neuralink can interpret the language of the brain and translate it into commands for external devices. Imagine if you could control your smartphone, computer, or even a robotic arm, merely by thinking about it. That's the kind of potential we're talking about here. But it doesn't stop there. The possibilities for healthcare are profound. Neuralink could help people with paralysis regain mobility through connected prosthetics. It could restore sight to the blind by sending signals directly to the part of the brain responsible for vision, bypassing damaged eyes. Even conditions like Parkinson's disease, a neurological disorder that affects movement, could be managed by using Neuralink to stimulate specific areas of the brain. Of course, these are long-term goals and there's still much work to be done, but the potential is there, and the implications are staggering. Neuralink isn't just about interfacing with machines. It's about unlocking the potential of the human brain, about pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible. It's about creating a future where the limitations of our bodies do not define us. With Neuralink, the line between man and machine is set to become blurrier than ever.
But what does this mean for the future of humanity? Imagine a world where neurological disorders are a thing of the past, where the blind can see and the paralyzed can move. These are some of the breakthrough moments we could witness with Neuralink's development. By creating a seamless interface between the brain and machines, Neuralink is poised to revolutionize not just healthcare, but also how we interact with the world around us. Let's take a moment to consider the potential impact of this technology on the future. In the realm of healthcare, Neuralink could potentially cure diseases that have long been considered untreatable. Imagine Parkinson's, Alzheimer's and even mental health disorders being managed or even cured by adjusting the brain's electrical signals. This could fundamentally change our approach to treating neurological disorders and improve the quality of life for millions of people around the world. But the implications of Neuralink extend beyond healthcare. The technology could also enhance our cognitive abilities, allowing us to process information at a speed that rivals even the most advanced artificial intelligence. Picture a world where learning a new language is as simple as downloading an app, or where you can control your devices with just a thought. This might sound like science fiction, but with Neuralink, it could become a reality. However, as with any technological advancement, there are potential downsides. The prospect of humans becoming too dependent on technology, or worse, being controlled by it, is a legitimate concern. There are also ethical considerations around privacy and security, as well as the risk of creating a societal divide between those who can afford enhancements and those who cannot. In spite of these challenges, the potential benefits of Neuralink are too significant to ignore. This technology has the power to not just change lives, but to transform the very fabric of our society. Neuralink could very well redefine what it means to be human. The future is exciting and with Neuralink it's closer than we think. As we stand on the brink of this new era, one thing is clear, the human brain, once considered the final frontier, is now the next frontier. And with Neuralink, we're ready to explore it. However, with great power comes great responsibility. As we delve deeper into the realm of brain interfaces, the ethical considerations become increasingly paramount. Much like any revolutionary technology, brain interfaces like Neuralink come with their share of potential risks and challenges. It is our duty to acknowledge these concerns and address them responsibly. First, there's the matter of privacy. In an age where data is often referred to as the new oil, the prospect of directly connecting our brains to machines raises significant questions about data security and personal privacy. Imagine a world where not just our online behavior, but our very thoughts could be subject to tracking, analysis, and perhaps even manipulation. Next, there's the issue of accessibility. If brain interfaces lead to substantial improvements in cognitive abilities or health, who gets to benefit? Will these advancements be available to all or will they be limited to those who can afford them, thereby widening the gap between the haves and the have-nots? Then there's the question of identity and autonomy. If our brains are interconnected with artificial intelligence, where do we draw the line between human and machine, and to what extent should individuals be allowed to modify their own brains? Lastly, there's the potential for misuse. Any technology that can be used for good can also be exploited for nefarious purposes. The potential for brain interfaces to be misused by malevolent actors is a sobering thought that we must confront. These concerns underscore the importance of regulation and oversight. As we advance into this brave new world, it is critical that we have robust ethical guidelines in place and that these advancements are closely monitored and regulated by appropriate bodies. We must ensure that these technologies are developed and used in ways that respect our fundamental human rights, protect our individuality, and promote fairness and equality. It is, after all, our shared responsibility to ensure that the future of humanity is shaped by our best attributes, not our worst. As we stand on the brink of a new era, it's crucial that we tread carefully. So, where does this leave us? We've journeyed through the potential of Neuralink, piercing the veil of the human mind, and how this revolutionary technology could forever alter our future. The future is exciting and a little bit scary, but one thing is for sure, it's going to be fascinating. Now, we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on brain interfaces like Neuralink? Don't hesitate to share your insights and queries in the comments. Do subscribe for more updates on such cutting edge technological advancements. Thanks for watching, and remember, the future is closer than you think.